secret. Hi, you all. Welcome to Unbottled Secrets, a channel where my truth becomes your entertainment. First and foremost, I want to wish you all a happy new year. We literally made it to 2020 and I'm so excited just to just figure out what this new year has in store for not only myself, but my growth and of course my braces journey. So today's video is a five month update on my braces journey. So if this is something you may be interested in, please continue watching. So I can honestly say that there has been a lot of changes in month five. For one, um, they added a power chain to the top front teeth to keep them together. So as my teeth are shifting, they're not shifting apart, which is great. So as a result of that, my teeth, at least the top front, have shifted dramatically. Like if I was to take off braces today, I would pretty much be okay with how my teeth look. The only con is that because they only put the power chain on certain brackets, there is now a large gap on my left side. So basically where the chain stops, there's a gap. And I'm not sure if that's because I have an exposed cavity that I didn't know about, which I really doubt it because I was just at the dentist last month and I got a feeling and there was no other cavities present. So I don't know if it's because of a cavity or if it's just because of an exposed um, nerve. But somehow, some way, last month, so in December, like late December, right around Christmas time, my mouth was just hurting. It was hurting so bad. And I, I figured it was because it was like major shifts happening in my teeth because I felt this before. But what changed was anytime I drink something cold, anytime I even like speaking right now is kind of uncomfortable. It just feels like something is like burning my tooth or that gap in between those teeth. And I'm just confused because I have had cavities in the past and I've never experienced this sensation before. So I'm just kind of freaking out. I think if I can withstand this month, I'll just withstand it. If not, I'm going to have to either make an orthodontist appointment or go to the dentist. But this pain right here is, whew, I, there's nothing like it. And I cannot explain what happened. I wasn't doing anything different. So that is just like one major con in this orthodontic journey. I just don't know what this is. And I've been examining the little gap that was created. I don't see any cavities. The eye, I, I don't know, like warm water doesn't hurt, but it's when I drink something super cold or if I'm talking, it's really painful. And for the life of me, I can't tell you why that is um so the band color i did go back to silver because when i had my orthodontic orthodontist appointment i didn't know what color to choose and i was just thinking it's around christmas time new year's time my birthday time when my next appointment will be so i was just like you know what i'm just gonna play it safe i'm gonna go back to silver i kind of wish i would have did blue instead because blue made my teeth just look so white but i'm okay with the silver, it's nice. Um, the only negative, I guess, and it's not even with the band color itself, is when they put that power chain on my teeth, they put in a clear in my less than smart self, ate some curry and now it stains. So now it's just like a very light yellow, which is, I mean, it's fine. It's whatever, I have my um, ortho appointment in February. So I don't know, I think in February I might try a different color. All depends on how I'm feeling. I might just do some Googles to see what are some good color, fun colors to do for February. Um, aside from updating you all on the shifting that has been taking place, and I'm going to obviously insert videos, 
there is nothing much to say about month five. I've been doing everything pretty much the same. I do notice a big shift in my teeth. The bottom row still looks pretty much the same. I feel like it's plateaued a bit. My orthodontist did tell me that I may have to do the rubber bands next month to um, keep my bite aligned. I am not looking forward to that, but I understand the purpose. So we'll see if I have to get the rubber band next month. Yeah, I think this pretty much wraps up the video. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, please don't thumbs down. Just go watch another video. And if you want to join my family, the Unbottled Secret family, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want notifications on any time I decide to post a video, please hit that bell. And as I mentioned, it is a new year, which means my birthday is right around the corner on January 22nd. So if you are interested in me doing a 25 things I'm looking forward to in year 25, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you feel so inclined to follow me on my social media platforms, my socials are as follows. And yeah, I think that's it for me. <laughs> See you next time. Bye, you all.